The future is being unleashed in the Antelope Valley, and the city of Palmdale is on the cutting edge of many of the exciting and impactful changes. Starting with transportation, the big news that has everyone buzzing is a recently announced partnership between Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Group and Brightline Trains, which will bring high-speed rail service from Las Vegas to Victorville and connecting to Palmdale. Imagine getting on a train in Palmdale and arriving in the heart of Las Vegas in just 90 minutes. Construction is expected to begin this year with initial rail service planned for 2022. Air transportation is also on the horizon. Plans are in the works for commercial passenger service out of Palmdale with a new terminal and taxiway part of the airport's future. Commuters too will see improvements on the 14 freeway funded by $200 million in Measure R funds, which will alleviate existing bottlenecks on the southbound 14 and increase the capacity of the northbound off-ramp to Rancho Vista Boulevard. The job scene in the Antelope Valley hasn't been this good in decades. Northrop Grumman and Palmdale is poised to add 5,000 new jobs as part of the ramp up for the new B-21 Raider and assembly work on the F-35 Lightning II. Over at Lockheed, there are many things going on at Skunk Works. The first X-plane in over a decade, the X-59 Quest, will begin to be assembled this year with a first flight in the first quarter of 2021 and is looking to hire about 800 highly skilled individuals to join their team. Also on location at Plant 42, Kinky Sharo continues to produce top quality rail cars for LA Metro, who is in the process of retiring its remaining light rail cars and replacing them with Kinky Sharo P3010 cars. One of the challenges that has resulted from the rapid aerospace growth is the need to cultivate and educate our workforce to meet the demand. To prepare workers for the immediate need, the innovative collaboration between the City of Palmdale, Antelope Valley College, America's Job Center, and aerospace partners called the Aircraft Fabrication and Assembly Program, or AFAB for short, is now in full operation at the former Palmdale Regional Airport Terminal. It is rapidly training a much needed entry level workforce and helping to fill the increased demand for aerospace and high tech manufacturing workers. For the next generation of workers, the Palmdale Aerospace Academy is expanding its mission by adding a transitional kindergarten through fifth grade campus next door to the existing campus on Palmdale Boulevard and 35th Street East. The TPAA elementary campus will have a curriculum similar to the middle high school campus with students engaging in activities in the fields of engineering, computer science, and biomedical science. The aerospace job boom has also created a huge increase in business visitation from contractors and employees who need quality housing during their stays. With places like Embassy Suites, Hilton Garden Inn, Staybridge Suites, Courtyard Marriott, Best Western, Hampton Inn, and Holiday Inn filled to capacity on most days. Two new hotels recently opened in Palmdale. Home Two Suites by Hilton and Element by Marriott to help meet the demand. And three more hotels are on the way. More jobs and more workers also means the demand for permanent housing is increasing as well. We're preparing for the next wave of housing to hit the valley, but it won't be the same type of growth that we've seen in years past. While there still will be a need for traditional homes, the next generation of workers have different priorities in mind when it comes to housing, which is why Palmdale's transit-oriented development plans are going full throttle to meet the demands and need to combine housing, transportation, and amenities together to create a more walkable and sustainable living experience. Palmdale isn't just focusing on new housing for workers new to our area. The need is also great for those residents who have been here a while, such as our veterans who desire and need quality, affordable housing. Right now, applications are being accepted for the new Corson Arts Colony East and Corson Arts Colony West apartments located in the heart of the city. Construction is also set to begin this year on a 56-home community plan at Division Street and Avenue R. This joint effort between Homes for Families, the City of Palmdale, and the California Department of Veteran Affairs is geared towards low-income U.S. veterans of any age, any service branch, and any era. Moving from housing to the medical arena, Palmdale Regional Medical Center continues to serve the region by providing high-quality medical services to residents of the Antelope Valley, Santa Clarita Valley, and surrounding communities. With the recent addition of the Rehabilitation Institute, the hospital features inpatient and outpatient surgery, cardiac services, and a 35-bed, 24-hour emergency department. In addition, their Center for Wound Care provides treatment for people with chronic non-healing wounds. This comprehensive wound healing service includes hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Whoever chooses to live, work, or bring their business to Palmdale, they'll find it to be an amazing place to call home. With quality housing and a wide range of options, to the region's best shopping and dining opportunities, 
opportunities, outstanding parks and amenities, including the new Yellen Park featuring the city's first dog park and the always popular Dry Town Water Park, the beautiful Palmdale Amphitheater, voted the best place to hear live music in the AV, an equestrian center, hiking and bike trails, and coming this year to Polona Vista Park, a new national fitness center in partnership with Antelope Valley Hospital that will bring free access to exercise equipment. It's a best-in-class outdoor bodyweight circuit training system designed for adults of all ages and abilities and will feature over 30 pieces of exercise equipment arranged in stations that allow for up to 28 people to use the court at the same time. Palmdale has also been raising the bar when it comes to public art. We created an arts master plan and did extensive surveying to get the pulse of our residents and what they'd like to see with public art. We also recently unveiled the piece Facing the Sun at City Hall this past summer, host a mural painting contest at Marie Kerr Park Recreation Center, created a new event, Kaleidoscope, dedicated to music and art, and we're looking at creating a new children's museum at City Hall dedicated to STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics, and providing a location for the next generation to be inspired for bigger and better things. Tying everything together, Palmdale is a safe community. In fact, Palmdale's crime rate has just dropped over 9% from last year to a 192 crime rate, the lowest in over two decades. The combination of community-based policing, city staff, and residents working together has made a profound difference. A growing economy, educational opportunities, dynamic housing, cutting-edge medical care, excellent shopping and dining, top-notch amenities, a safe community. These are some of the reasons why Palmdale is a place to be now as well as in the future. Come, explore Palmdale, a city ready to exceed your expectations.